Hello, guys. Hello, Supreme Squirrel. So, I get to stream on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to be on myself, but uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to play a sharpshooter because sharpshooter great. Hello, Anything Goes Studio. Oh, yeah, I forgot my hammer contract is about done. Hello, Rob. So, I still don't have the silver to buy the TR-125. Which I really need the silver to buy the TR-125. Because I am so looking for that tank. How are you doing today? What are your thoughts on the Cobra and the T-55 Enigma? I have not played the T-55 yet, but the Cobra is pretty good. I like the gun on the Cobra, especially when you're firing the hash. And you actually can get by. If you get those four hash rounds to pen, oh, that's very devastating. It's really nice to do. Yeah, Cobra's a fun thing. So, yeah, I haven't played the T-55 yet. I haven't had silver to play it yet. Quite excited for the Ignip Enigma, especially for the 65 silver percent boost. Yeah, that's a nice silver bit, especially for Cold War. Why did I come all the way out here? Probably needs to go to Cold War and grind some silver out because... You know what? I actually don't know how much silver I actually have. Dead. Hello, M46. Oh, that's a first and five. That bounced off me. Nice. <gasps> I am on. Fire! My E50 shot me in the back of my tank. He ran into the game with rest today. Took it off his turrets. Nice. Ow. Don't I have a team? I feel like I had a team. I just don't know where they are. Saw Ricky's video on the Enigma talked about a bouncing armor. Looking forward to it. Ah. Yep, I seen the video too. I was expecting it to be very bouncy because looking at the armor, even before it came out, the armor viewer they show us, I was like, ooh, that's going to be really nice armor. Okay, I'm going to the same place because the E50 died. And hopefully I can have better luck here. I'm getting targeted from a tank out there. It bounced. There's another tank. It's a Cobra. Hello, Cobra. 
I don't want to pop out there and get you. You probably also have hash loaded, so that's going to be dangerous because I have 137 hit points and there's a 277 firing. I think I might want to get all this spot. Yeah. Getting out of this spot would be very nice. Focus on this area. Hello, Tiggy. Hello. Oh, hello. How's it going? Good. Did you... Good, good. Did your account ever get fixed? Uh, yes, I'm out of tanks jail. Out of tanks jail. I'm out of tanks jail, man. Nice. 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 Um, I got one question. Uh, how does my voice sound? Is it okay? I'm using a different microphone. Sounds pretty good. There is, is, it a better? is it not as good as it normally is? Um... It's fine. I don't know. Really know. There is an echo, though. An echo? Yes. Hmm. Hello, Vulcan. Just check we played eight out of a hundred games. Didn't just, we only played at eight? Yep, we only played eight. We didn't play that many in those little blue tears. Yeah, there's an echo. Your own voice echoing? Yes. Oh yeah, hello Death Death Star. Echo? Um, yes. Cool. Wanna get shot? <clears throat> well, I guess I'll plug in the other headset. Let's see. Are you still over there? That's a 4,000 fight tank. I'm going to be beating the round. Uh, How about now? Is there still an echo? I Maybe? No. There's no echo. Wow. Darn it. So the new headphones somehow create an echo. That's not good. Oof. They were cheap though. It's it's like a I I got them just as a backup. There. Oh, I am a wrecked guy. No, I finally died. And for a sharpshooter game, I balanced 3,560, 3,400 assists, and 2,300 damage. Been a while since you watched the stream. Oh. And here's your invite, and I forgot to open my book too. So, wait, did you ever. F what did you do to make your game like lag like that? Did you go into the contracts uh, or no, something? No, I didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. We were just playing, and, and it happened when we went back to the garage. Did you finish stage, uh, a contract stage? Because apparently people were finishing sta contract stages, and that's why it was doing the them. Uh, 
Well, <clears throat> everyone was completing contract stages because it was the first day of the season, so... Huh? Is he... Do I just do it? Well, I know... I know Kinder lost over 10. Then it happens. Yeah, sometimes platoon stuff breaks it. <clears throat> We've definitely seen... Uh, most of us who played uh, tanks with people in a platoon have seen that happen once or twice before where I could buy this some multiple platoon times. shifting around can some, sometimes break the platoon. Uh, remember that one glitch, right, where you get locked out of the game where you can't play? I did that for... I did that to some people in my platoon, right? I got locked out and <clears throat> my buddy I Fish found... got locked out for like eight hours, dude. It was like a day... day he had a day off work or something. <laughs> I found I bundles. I inadvertently locked him out of tanks. <laughs> okay, I think I just bought a ton of silver vest. How much did I just buy? I bought a hundred silver vest. Yikes. <clears throat> so I need more. I need more. You p said you play the 63HG, but do you own it? <clears throat> Uh, not anymore. You sold it? No, I played the premium one. 63 HG. Yes. What's the premium one? The 63 HG 59? Literally, it's the same exact thing. Really? Yes, it's in the premium. Let me see it. <clears throat> Type 63 HG 90. Let me see. Now I have 200 silver boost. Oh, I see. Okay. So, so why is it literally the same thing, just premium? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, problem. Hold up. Okay, I'm about to do something because I need silver for content. And. I get free gold, so. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, uh, the premium tank. It's probably There's gotta like be a some difference. Premium. There must be something. Not really. I, mean, I know it doesn't look like it at first glance. I didn't I didn't go in <clears throat> deep, but you want to do that. Person. Okay, now I have a TR-125. Nice. <clears throat> well... I, I brought, brought the wrong thing. You might not have liked the 63HG, but I gotta say, I think this is one of my... one of the best tanking experiences I've had in as long as I can remember. And definitely tech tree tanking, one of the best tech tree tanking experiences I've had in as long as I can remember, definitely. Because the only other uh, other experience that, that came even close is like the, the MBT-70, but that's a premium tank. It's kind of different. Can't really compare the two. I think I'm buying an engine. That will probably get enhanced target info. Well, I had... 10.4 million silver, and now I'm down to 833,000. <laughs> I mean, I started the stream with 32,000 gold, and now I'm down to 6,000. Because I bought like 200 hmm. silver boost and bought 10 million silver. Right. I'm trying to figure out where my crew is. Where's my three star? There you are. I'm excited to play this tank. I am. This thing's gonna be fantastic. I'm hoping. 
I've all the wrong <clears> camo. <throat> I'm excited to eventually get that tank. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, I need to pull up your YouTube channel so I can read your chat and stuff. Okay, now I get to play. I don't have an experience crew on this tank. Oh, it's only two skills. Quick alerter and supply conservation. Ah, oh, there we go. I gotta grind through the upgrades. So, I'm going to set this as my L1A2 and my 4211, where it's a survival survivability build. So I'm putting events armor on and armor angling on. It's supply conservation, whole patch, uh, get my hit points back faster. I'm hoping that lower plate won't be a problem for me. I, that is a very big lower plate. That's what I'm hoping. I'm ho also I'm hoping that since this is a heavy tank compared to the TR-580 and the TR-85, I'm hoping it'll feel like more of a heavy tank because those things, those tanks felt like a medium slash heavy tank. So I'm hoping that since this one's a classified as a heavy tank, that the armor just holds up much better than those two tanks did. Even those armor worked like magic. So that's what I'm hoping. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you know, if you look at it, this is the wrong camo belt. You know, oh. if, if one were to just guess, I mean, they look like Soviet tanks. They look a lot like the T-72 one. The proportions, you know, the hull, the turret, like, looks like maybe a modified T-72, you know. Yes. Looks like maybe some other country got T-72s and then, or parts for T-72s and made it their own. Uh, so you, you gotta imagine there's gonna be some similar performance too. Yeah, a lot of people thought these were just reskinned uh, T-55s and T-72s, but they're much, right. much different. Yeah, it is. It is Hello, a lot Paul. different. Like I said, at the first glance, you might guess that, but there, but there are a lot of subtle differences. And then you, you start to really look at the hole and realize it is. You're like, ooh, different, different shapes. The slope too, like, is yeah. like one awesome. thing you see is like a really big lower plate. So one would hope there's lots of funky armor there to throw the bait shot. Mm, lower plate doesn't really have armor. Every look, it's large. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, it's crap. large, dude. It's I know. Really, really big one. <laughs> I do have 200 millimeters of upper plate armor, which the TR-580 and the TR-85 TR did too. I do have a bigger gun than the two other tanks. I'm hoping my armor holds up a lot better. People don't shoot my lower plate. Dead. It's 
sadly, I don't have gun depression. Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Go to town. Yep. Out my way. The gun's decently inaccurate. I definitely need to steady him. Which I don't have. You got stabilizer? <clears throat> I think I do. Yeah, make sure you got the, the, the stabilizer first because that's 20%. That's a bigger chunk. Although maybe may, maybe it's better to do a good skill if it if it's ten percent is just enough. Well, I don't have enough skill slots. Right, I only have two skill slots unlocked. I got gotcha. you. Well, take a look at the actual number, man. I'll, I'll I'll be able to tell you if you could get away with. I mean, it it, it, it also depends on how far you plan on shooting him from for that thing. You know? I find like the more sniping you you like to do, just you know. Do steady aim and a stabilizer, like, otherwise your accuracy is going to be unreliable at this point. Just got shot by a Sheridan with a missile. It did nothing. Ow. Getting shot from across the map. And that side. Zoom. <clears throat> oh well, I still had a good game, and yeah, as long as you come back there, we'll be okay. That Sheridan's a one shot. Oh, you got Sheridan one shot. Yes. Yeah, nobody's going to die for the time, of course. Because our team decides that they need, uh, I don't know, eight tanks to cap the base or something. I don't know. Well, part of the crunch. It's Can so I do a video on the use of missiles? Sure. Ricky Dicky yeah, told me has. Some good videos on missiles for the right now on his channel. I kind of want to play my TR five eight. Is this TR eighty five? And yeah, I'm sign crew. Honestly, I'm just going to put the mercenary crew voice in here. <clears throat> um, Paul O, oh, the other thing I'll say about missiles is that um, every single tank has different velocities for their missiles. So when, when well, we're talking about uh, these uh, missiles in a specific tank, you really got to use that same tank and you got to use those missiles to get good with hitting with them because you may be good at hitting with these missiles but you go into another tank and it's totally different with it you've got these really drastically differing velocities and well the velocity totally affects your shot so Hold you really got to get used to your the velocity of, of that specific missile well missiles have two speeds They right. have two speed statistics, right? Yeah, they have two speed statistics. They have their maximum speed, which is shown in the garage, and they have their speed of how fast they get up to their maximum. <clears throat> and I don't think that's shown in the garage. Right. That's why the MBT 70s missiles have a slow max speed, but they are very, very quick because their max time to max speed is very quick right and that's that's why as well so they accelerate mid-air 
yeah. and even more Sorry. of a reason why why um you need to get used to that specific missile to be able to reliably hit shots because they're gonna maybe have different acceleration curves like he said the mbt 70 comes out the gates you know fast but its top speed is not it tops out at a, at a certain speed some of these other ones may start slow but then they speed up and they might go really fast in the end making it hard to aim at a, at a far distance target that's moving so really i i think you know <clears throat> there's so many subtleties to the velocity that you just got to really get used to that one particular type to get the feel for it all right that's a giant lower plate I'm just gonna figure out a place to hide it and so far I haven't landed an artillery style shot with my missile but I'll keep trying oh you hadn't you know where you shoot it like way up in the air and then you whew, slam it down and on the top of somebody yep I've done that nice. uh, the Bradley's pretty good at doing that and the mm -hmm. BMPT is pretty good Bradley is a good test drone because it has a two-shot missile. Yeah. Well, I so brought it miss... down and hit somebody, but like I really want to slam it down like right on the top of the thing. You know? There's no reason to die. Just drop it. Right Can missiles be shot out of the air? I don't know. Have I ever tried? I've not. I do want to test that. I've got a nicely accurate uh, gun I that can do it. I don't think one shot is good enough. No, no, no. Accurate you need enough. like a BMP2 or something. Yeah, you that's like precisely what I was talking about. BMP2. Yeah. I got a BMP2 with a stabilizer on it. It's like a laser beam. It's like a... Uh, laser scalpel so if anything could do it we can do that right after this match kill the custom games I'll, we'll go to Malnovka and I'll try to find I'll bring my MX because it has pretty slow uh, missile speeds and you could shoot the missiles Oh, that was slow. <clears throat> My money's on no. My money's on uh, no. They cannot be shot at. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I don't think there's any way that it's actually gonna work. Be really cool if you can. Currently, I'm sniping, and my armor's holding out really nicely. I say that and I got pinned. Somebody found my lower plate. Hello, James. I think I'll probably go ramp somebody. Ooh, controlled impact and small wire. It would be really nice on this thing. Go ram somebody to death. Cause how good my top speed is. <clears throat> Probably so, decently heavy too. Speaking of ramming, is this 63HG good at ramming? No. You would think it is, but it's not. It's not heavy? Nope. Pretty light. It looks like it would be heavy, but then when you actually start driving it, you realize that it's got an amazing amount of acceleration, so it's got a really good power to weight ratio. This thing will just truck right up the hill. Compression. I don't have any traction system or a uh, powertrain on it either.
Well, that was I annoying. I decided that, like, uh, you know, once, once I elite this tank here, 63 HP, you know, then maybe I'll put in a traction system and we can try to do some, some tricks and extreme flips and stuff like that. Because this thing doing a backflip would look pretty awesome. Ow! That was my side of my tank. Ramming speed. Aw, way up. You did it. Yeah, we had to try it. I was gonna ramble. <laughs> it was his rear. I mean, I, it was his rear was presented to me, and we were just talking about ramming. So. How much damage did you do? It was a lot, I think, but I'm dead now, so it wasn't worth it because if the gun itself would have done a lot more damage. If I had stayed alive, I could have shot a few more times and probably get another thousand or two thousand damage. If you have gun, I mean, the alpha on the gun is insanely good. Ow. Well, back to the garage. Uh, okay, so you, so you played the premium 63HG. Yeah, it's been a while, though. Okay. Did you like it better than the Object 934, at least? No. I think it's like a, it's like the 934, but way better in every question. When's the last thing you played the 934? It's like if you took the 934 and you inflated it and made it huge, but made it like better and easier to play. When does the, the gun last behaves really well? Time you played Just the a nine... very well behaving gun. Oh, the match came back. All right. Are you picking BMP2 or am I? Yeah, I'll take BMP2. Because <laughs> I got a stabilizer on mine. I don't know if you have the one on yours. Okay, I'm going to bring my Amex. Okay. You're going to the bottom of the hill. Okay. Like, to the bottom of the hill, I think it's like... Paul, you love your 934, so do you have the, the J2. Type 63HG? You need to get that tank if you don't have it, dude. You love the 6... I mean, it hits like a truck. It's so much fun. Sure, if you're good at, at maneuvering the 934 around, you'll, you'll be able to do this 63. I need you to go to uh, J2. J2, right, And I'll go... To A0. This is actually one of the longest sight lines in the game. It's very, very far. Okay. I'm going to fire a couple of, like, standard shells so I can see exactly where you are. You see me? Hold up, I gotta get up here first. Is it better if I get up on that, that hill spot? Oh, hold up. Let me see where you are first. Is that where you want me to get on, onto the hill? I mean, you can back up on the ice. You want me to back up to the hill spot? Hold up. I gotta get a spot where I have gun depression. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Okay, Can I'm gonna need to fire this shot. Yeah, it's 1,100 okay. meters away. Let's see how long it takes there. Okay. I'm going to fire a test round just so you can see where the missile is. Okay? Look at that, dude. With the stabilizer? Check this out, dude. See? Yeah, you killed you my... From there. Okay, stop firing. I'm sorry. It I'm killed... sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You killed my oh, gunner. No. no, I'm sorry. At least you don't need that for missiles, right? It kills my reload. 
No, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna do a, a test fire. I'm gonna do a test fire. So I don't shoot this out. Yeah. Do you see it? Shoot it. Okay. Actually, hey, here. missile targeted back... system would be great, so you can actually see it. Keep shooting where where you want to shoot it. Keep shooting at the same spot. I need to be at a little bit of an angle so I can. Okay, do you see me? Oh yeah. Aim, I mean, I aim was... directly at me. Yeah. Fire a couple of rounds. Okay. Why I was one round, dog. Hit you. I'm going to fire my missile, and you fire okay. the gun. Okay. Now. Well, you're supposed to fire the gun at me. Oh. Hold up. When I say fire a couple of shots at me. Okay. So you're lined up on me. Okay. Okay. Now, when I fire this missile, you fire at me. Okay, count down. You count down. No, you you say when you fire it, say go. As soon as you fire All right. it. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Don't think. Do it again. I'm out of missiles. I'm not no. out of missiles. I just have a longer way. This just takes forever. <laughs> I tried to catch you around. I saw you around in here. <laughs> All right. You know what the coolest thing is? Possible. How? Go yeah. up to that hill where I was. Okay. Do me a favor. Load mm -hmm. high explosives. Okay. In my... Gonna... my yeah, BMP2. Okay. You're going to see the coolest thing ever. Because I was... One day I just got bored and took both of my accounts in here and just fired at very long range with high explosives. At an F46 A1. Yeah. Okay. Because I got very bored one day, I just went to Castle Gates. There's a random person. I could be a spectator. Okay, so did you see? Were you impressed at all with the incredible accuracy that that I had with that gun? I being pretty is about that accurate. No, but with the I promise you, have you to put the stabilizer on it. Without the stabilizer, you even you without cannot... the stabilizer, my I BMP... know. But every shot's not going to hit. Some of the shots will go pew 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 here and there. All right, go to like B nine. All right, and our one's set should... out in the middle of the field, and you just fire. We me. should field test it sometime with the BMPs with stabilizer and without, like how how many times you hit the target. Or was it the Bradley? I think it might have been the Bradley. <laughs> oh. So, me go top hill? Hill top? Yeah. Be nice. Because it's like the coolest thing ever. Watching a whole bunch of high explosives just hit me at very long distance. Me with my banana skin. <laughs> well, you know, that's like, uh, that tank's all, all geared up. It's like all ready to go for when you win the fight, right? All you yep. need is, is to like score, uh, you know, some creature of livestock, you know, a pig, a goat. You know, cow, whatever, and you got all those banana leaves to wrap it in and cook it up. It's like ready to go for the after battle party. 
you. Oh, I see you. Delicious. All right. I'm not. I'm in G3. Firewood ready. Wait a minute. Oh, I see you. Yeah, just fire. Bouncy, bouncy. Just fire nonstop. Yeah, non -stop. why'd you take... Why'd you take Boy. a medium? Do you just survive? That's not the point to die. But this is what I should have tried to shoot the rocket with. You've missed a lot. I was moving it around. Well, stop moving it around. Alright. No, I ain't at the back of my head. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was gonna hit you, didn't you? Alright. Where are you? Oh no, I lost it. My gun waggled around. Okay, shoot so the back of me. Straight on target and just shoot at you? Yeah, with the main, main gun. Really not getting many good ones at all. I get shot to pieces. I get so many holes all over my tank when you shoot me with high explosives. <laughs> I'm covering bullet holes. Oh, damn! Ow. Did you see it come down from above? I did not. I wasn't watching. Wow, that was cool. These ones definitely have the Ew. like the slow enough velocity that you can slam them down at the end. Gotta be shooting me. Where'd you go? Oh. You're missing. You hit one ah. shot. Because the ground is all wacky here, man. I want like, like 15 BMPs just shooting me with high explosives from up there. You know how cool that view? Hello. Here it comes. Ah, oh, I waited too long. Are you gonna fire? Oh! I'm sorry! Yeah, why are friends like, oh, did you see it? No. Dude, that went straight in from the top. Holy crap, I didn't know you could do that with this tank. Wow, okay, sorry about that. Far enough distance, yes. I didn't think it was, yeah, yeah, exactly. The This one, it's, the distance is better to have some distance. But some of them, I imagine it's not, because maybe they speed up too much. If they get too fast, then you're not going to be able to hit that target after it goes out too far. Uh-huh. Like, I took a whole bunch of tanks in there, like the Armadillo, the Muller, the Bradley... The 107, the BMP2, the BMP3, and just kind of just test fired from all the way out the distance. Some of my tanks really had a lot of holes in them. I think it was a T44 where I just covered that thing in holes. It was just nothing but holes all over the tank. 
Also, the sounds are very nice. That was an amazing shot. I didn't get to actually see the missile. Well, I seen you fire it, and I was waiting for me to hear the missile so I could just fire at you. Okay. Is are you able to look at a replay of? Uh, yeah, you are yes. of training. Yeah. Would you be able to look at the replay real quick? Just to see if it comes. It really did. I think it came straight from above. The second to last one was well. It was kind of sloped in, I think. But that last one, I think, really. I sort of sent it up in the air till it was about one or two hundred meters, and then I started curving it down and acquired the target. I think uh, one thing I know, like if you're trying to do an aerial shot with the missiles, like you don't really want to go too high, right? If you go too high, you might hit the ceiling of the map or something. It just you know, it might stop targeting. That <laughs> looks cool, too. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of shells going... <laughs> yeah. Gotta wash your tank. Oh, you can hear the missile sound. Word for me. Oh, oh, it looks cool. Whoa. Yeah, I've never done that before. <coughs> Zoomed in on a missile. That's really cool. <laughs> Neato. Well, it's the missile. Wow. Looks cool. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah! Ooh, whoa, it's back. You got to do uh, slowest speed. Yeah, I know. Okay. Hello, cat. That was one. That's the one that flew over me. Oh no, that was the yeah. I yeah. Okay, I was thinking. Yeah, the trajectory didn't seem right. Yeah, the one I did. I went higher up. I think on the second. On that one, I think I shot it more straight <laughs> and I lifted it up and then I went down. And I think the last one, I think I fired it more up. That was kind of a cool sound. I haven't even fired it yet, and it's... There we go. Seven seconds before the round ends. I would like to know when I fired. Because I... And how close that round was to killing you. Oh, yeah, that's cool, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you so, hit right here. Oh, wow. So I guess it really didn't um, come down from the top, right? It seemed like it did. But it didn't. It just changed course immediately. There's my shell. It was on the trajectory to kill you. 
Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> BM uh, BMP two on the fastest mode sounds like a really good chainsaw. Yeah, I heard that. Actually, I can just start the match over. Oh wait, I want to. I want to hear it. Are you gonna play it on double speed? Here, I'm yes. gonna get my mic. Double speed. It uh, it sounds like an old film projector, right? It sounds like one of those really old film projectors when they're first, uh, you know, reeling them up, and like the loose piece of film's like flapping. Uh -huh. <laughs> or like an old engine or something, like an old generator. I do want to know what it sounds like it's slip. See ya, squirrel. Thanks for watching. So, the, that that last missile shot from the BMP2, like it, it seemed like it came in from from higher, but it didn't. But still, it came in at. A I think really you hit my angle. What's up? Nearly my lower plate. Mhm. Mm yeah, it went down. Right towards the front, but but still, though, I think um, the advantage to that would be um, your enemy's less likely to see it coming. Like this, does they might know, right? Do you still hear a missile coming taking. in, or okay? Watch my stream. Beautiful. Say what now, Diggy? Okay. Ah, oh, that was nice, man. I I could watch like hours of that just looped. You get to just have that looping for hours. Have a whole channel of that. Yeah. Do you hear the missile come in? Yes. Like when I right. fired is exactly when I heard the missile. Right. Hitting, but. <clears throat> When you're looking straight, when you look straight at a thing and you shoot a missile directly at it, they're going to see this bright colored indicator coming at them and they hear the warning, the alert. Yes. But also, you, you can fire hear. From above, they're less like. Bot. Bot. I see it. Less likely to, to see it coming in. Or it's, it's going to make it harder for them to, well, to dodge it because they don't know it's different. It's you not can just hear right at them. somebody fire a missile. It's like right. a lot. It's like a very deep gun sound. Every time I hear right. it, I'm like, somebody fired a missile. Even before I see it or before I even hear it, like, somebody fired a missile. If you play with headphones, you definitely hear it. Right. Some people may know what I'm talking about. But still, I think shooting from above and then, you know, if you could slam it down, it might be more sneaky. It might be harder for them it to It is more it. sneaky. Even if you're hitting them in the same spot, even if you're not able to get that perfect, like, top shot that we're talking about with a lot of these. Unless they're really creeper rockets, I wouldn't expect to be able to get that top shot. Plus, when they're a distance, it's so hard to know how far out your rocket is compared to them. You can look at their at their you can look at their distance on your readout, and you can watch the rocket's distance. You can gauge it roughly, but 
Do I find the new missile detection as a useful piece of equipment? Uh, yes. It's not for the reasons of the missile warning system. Is I don't use... Okay, so the missile warning system, the primary... Uh, for that equipment, primary use for that equipment is the missile warning system. It also has passive boost. Uh, it gives you more view range nearly as much as the situation awareness does. And it also gives you, if you point at somebody, it keeps them up targeted longer. Basically, it's like mark target and situational awareness on that piece of equipment. And I use the missile warning system on my BMP-2 and my Amex-13, mainly for the vision, not for the missile warning system. So basically, I buy the equipment for the V-Range and the, for me, I buy the, for the V-Range and the missile warning system is just a added bonus. Is it good for a missile warning system? Yes. I just buy it for the V-Range. Right, but, but you would only want to do it in certain tanks that you're really just going for V-Range because for min-maxing the viewing, because you're only getting a 5% with that, where uh, the optics are going to get so, you know, There might be other pieces of equipment that to get you just a better bonus. Like, let's say, for example, if you had a tank that was, you know, had a really good gun, uh, you know, a light tank, you, you know, maybe the, uh, going into accuracy or something else would be better. It all just comes out. <clears throat> but yeah, you can definitely get your viewings up to ultimate max. Oh, my. I'm currently using my armor fantastically because there's a platoon in front of me, a BMP2 and a WC-122. They're having trouble fitting me. I hit my lower plate. <laughs> I bounced like 6,000 damage oh. so far. The base, the base, the base. I'm dead. I got greedy. That's what you like about me? I think about myself. Thanks. I love thinking outside the box. It's fun. Also, that cat. It's getting on my nerves. Also, if this sounds too loud, let me know. Yeah! Yeah, hunted that 934 down, because even though as big as a house, I know that it that its gun just is not nearly as maneuverable as mine. So I was able to swing around him. I was holding off that side pretty nicely until they got more reinforcements. I did 3,521 damage, 1,164 assists, and 5,390 damage blocked. And the only reasons they ever pinned me was shooting my lever plate. You did all that damage in that short amount of time? Yes. Wow. Wait, that's crazy, dude. Actually, I mean, you died pretty quick, pretty like two or three minutes in. The Just block imagine if you were alive Wait. the whole time dealing damage at that rate. Are you oh, talking about? Oh, crap a noodle! Wait, are you oh, talking about the five thousand or the three thousand? The five thousand was block damage. I only did three thousand damage. See it, James. 
Thanks for joining. It's okay? Yeah. Can you hear me? What? I did 3,000 damage and blocked 5,000. Ooh. Lord. That's... God, that's disgusting. You're gonna have to nerf that thing. I'm calling it. I mean, that's the TRs. They are just really good at blocking damage. I'm gonna have to nerf that thing. Oh yeah, I need to make some silver so I can actually equip my tank. Are you going to use a premium instead? Actually? So, I have knowing that there's a premium Type 63 HG... Hello, Steve. Like, that's what I want now. I want that thing. I want the boat. The boat. The boat. Okay, since Amazing. I made a veil on the Cobra, I can now steal the Cobra's crew. I need another nine skill crew, I just keep her around. Or then make VS. Because just having the one nine skill crew is kind of annoying. Where I just skip it around. Right. I guess when I'm trying to make VS, I skip it around. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Arbor angling in Advanced Arbor is definitely going to work really nice on this tank. The T-55. Enigma or something? I could really tell you that. Build this thing as a... No, no room for six cents, right? I'm trying to think of commander skills. I may put six cents. I'll put steady aim. I mean, yeah, it, it's got, the thing is, it's got, yeah, you don't, you could get away without it, but it has so much carry factor, right? So much absorptive factor and bounce factor that you could really carry those, on, you know, those, you know, 1v4, 1v5s and more battles. And in those situations, it does help to have six cents because you can save those last few hit points you might have and string out the battle, you know really uh, be cautious about it. So, I don't know. Okay. I don't know about the last three skills. I am going to put six cents on it. Okay, fine. I don't know about the last two skills, so I'm actually going to play a match in it because I'm thinking of two skills that may help it. Which would be Rapid Aim. If Rapid Aim and Clutch Breaking would help it, like, I want to know about the turret speed and then track rotation first. In game. Right, but is it fully upgraded yet? Oh, no. It's premium. It's the Enigma. Okay, the Enigma. I thought you were uh, talking about your other tank. I'm going to use one of my 200 tiny silver boosts. I mean, I wish I had a 200 tiny silver boost. That would be really nice. See, if you were gearing up a crew for your tech tree one, uh, it, that I would say you wouldn't you wouldn't really be able to know yet. You would want to wait till you got the upgrades first to know whether you really needed the the clutch braking or even the the turret extra turret traverse because sometimes that gets better with the turret upgrade. So currently, I have supply conservation, porn leader, rapid loading, armor angling, steady aim, dead eye, and six cents. Yes, I went dead eye. I actually, for the very first time, I used comms technician. And I used it on the Cobra because it needed it. And I can safely comms say... Comms technician? What is comms technician? Improve your signal range. Oh god, why? Because it has terrible signal range at 500. Uh, wow. it, it's like 500 signal range, so basically it's like blind, you can't see any teammates or anything like that. So I was like, wow. Common ignition and it bumped it up to like 700. It's like, yay. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it, I mean, 
a little bit of sniping does help with that tank. You don't want to be too close to the action. And you have to reload. <laughs> However long it is. Well, the sniping's fine because you can only see enemies so far. Which that I don't remember. I think it's 535. Hmm. No, is it full? I don't remember how far you can actually see an enemy tank. I always get the numbers confused. 445 meters is as far as you can spot somebody in World War II. But I don't remember how far you can actually see somebody in World War II. Right. I think it had enough for that. I could be wrong. I was going to test it, so I turned my PS4 on so it can do the update. Then I made the video and stuff like that. And when I was going to bed, I was turning my PS4 off. Then I realized I turned my PS4 on, but it needed to do like a PS4 update. So it didn't actually download the update or anything. Because it had to be reconnected to the internet. Yeah. Turret's fine. Track rotation is fine. I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is one more accuracy perk. You had steady aim. Yes. So this is for the Enigma, right? Oh wait, I don't have my. I don't. I only have one piece of equipment on this thing, so. I could just do stabilizer. Yeah. Well, let me look at the at the stat, dude. Find another target. Ready to fire. Or Good I could Lord, put traction just, system on it. To two takes. I don't remember. I don't know. Trying to think what the best stuff is to put on this tank. What would improve this tank more? Because I'm definitely putting the Arbor Angle uh, Vent Smart oh. Arbor on. Um, you know, you gotta put Stabilizer in. Hello? You have to put stabilizer. Try to put stabilizer. Well, I yeah, could do the other the, two. The, I don't know. The accuracy at a hundred. Yeah. No, the accuracy at hundred meters is point three. So, point three is really good. All right, dude. Is yeah, okay? All right then. You go to World War Two. Point three is where I say stabilizer in in anything, but that's, that's <laughs> you go to World War Two and say point three, it's bad, and you're like. Everybody's like, what? No, but no, even in World War II, like, point three, like, I want that better. I mean, if, if, for sure, if you're only planning on doing close range engagements, then yeah, that's fine. Like, stabilizer. Yeah, it makes you more accurate, but if, if you're talking about really close range and the turret traverse is not great, then maybe rapid aim or whatever might benefit you. But I mean, it's Cold War, come on, there's all these great opportunities to shoot at distance sometimes, especially True. if the gun has good penetration, so, you know, but when this when you have point three accuracy, yeah, that's at 100 meters, but... The, the, the thing is, it gets so much more accurate, unaccurate at, at further distance. Bot. There's a bot. I, I know. I'm going to just kill first. What you doing, bot? I could probably send knife bots to ban them.
six. Okay. How much silver did I make? Nearly 200,000. I made 198,001. Okay, armor eagling is definitely going on. Well, you gotta remember, I still have the other two accuracy perks I can put on here. Right. Um, I've got a suggestion instead. Just put a different crew before you commit, right? You could just try. Do you have a crew that has both of those? You could just test try a different crew that has the accuracy perks. I don't think I do. I don't use yeah. snapshot and run a gun a lot. Well, I mean, then it's it's not bad to have. Like, it, you've got... I mean, that's a good... I'm going to use... Like that little build you have going there, that could be good even with uh, snapshot. Like the armadillo. Yeah, I mean you, you you go by the feel. Like you know, if if you're going with snapshot, then maybe the the turret traverse is a little slow on that tank. And, and if that's the case, that really can make a big difference. Now I'm trying to think what a nice skill could be. Because this top line is completely rolled out. That's rolled out. That's rolled out. So my own, my options is run and gun. Try All for driving. The four. Actually. Camouflage expertise. Well for shot. Green thumb. Situation awareness. Controlled impact. Or any of the Michael Paint tolerance. No, forget all, all the camo skills. No, uh, those are off. Those are uh, out of the question now. Basically, with with what you've got going on. So toss those out the window. So yeah, uh, off for driving. Um, I looked at the skills. Like it doesn't need all for driving. Like the terrain resistances are really good. Okay, so let's use it now and then and then think about what you want for the next one. Try right. this new. Uh, was it, uh, it was it run and gun? No, it was rapid aim. That no, you just trained. I use snapshot. I think it's snapshot. Snapshot. That's right. Snapshot. Yeah, snapshot. Now I just put the events armor on. I'll probably make more silver. I'll probably put... I don't know what I'll put on. So, wait. Rapid I still aim, does rapid aim increase your turret traverse and snapshot increases your accuracy? Yes. During? Okay. So, go figure out the third piece of equipment. Well, the fourth. I'm ruling out stabilizer for now. Okay. Because I put the snap shuttle. Yeah. I'm thinking now, about traction system mm -hmm. for this because that speed was quite slow for a medium. Well, if my accuracy is still bad and I go for like the other accuracy skill and I still think it's bad, I'll probably particle stabilizer and go back and take the other two skills off. I don't know. Debating here. Well, there's the. Let me just throw in there. Don't don't underestimate the the power of the. Um, what's it? Rapid aim. The one that makes your turret move a little faster. Like even though it doesn't make your shot more accurate if your turret can get to the target quicker then you'll be able to aim in faster and have a more accurate shot sooner so even though it doesn't um, directly increase your accuracy it actually can make more of your shots hit uh, especially when you're moving and other targets are moving so it's definitely i'm just saying you know for some of these tanks 
that seem to have trouble like hitting while they're on the move or while other tanks are on the move. Sometimes making your turret move faster makes a big difference. And you can kind of test it out first if you wanted to test it out like with fuel, right? Fuel makes your turret move a bit faster. And uh, yep. you, you could test it out with that and see if that makes your gun a little better. You like ramming and impact on your 120? Nice. Nice, Paul. Like the Argent 120 in Cold War? Wait, is that the only 120? I think that is. Wait. Ooh. Looks like that one went straight through. You like controlled impact on your Argent 120 tank for sure? Why is there a tank pushing me? Hello? I had a friendly pushing me for a second. What is that? Just make you feel all warm and fuzzy. Well, I'm gonna chalk it up to him because he might not notice because he stopped. I fired. <laughs> I think I can get away with sitting out in the open in this tank because people the boat? don't think it's a tank. I think they think it's like the core part of the map. The <laughs> boat. They're like, Why is you just boat do there? that on what's the map called? Fisherman's Bay. Yeah, just out in the water. <laughs> and then, don't mind me. <laughs> Be great. Just buff up your concealment and go sit out in the water while they look for the last remaining tank. You just kind of sit there and you're like, "Don't mind me." Okay, the RC feels ten times better. So this movement penalty that was that was hitting there. Yeah. Reloaded. Full oh, turret rotation penalty. Yeah. So if yeah, if you did put fuel, you would get probably get even more benefit. Which light tank. They're so small, it's like an elephant versus a mouse. We pierced their armor. Pierced their armor. Oh, I revved that tank to death. Ow. Hello? Rammed by the 2 AV, so I might want to put control in fact. So I keep taking a lot. That was a lot of damage from the two rounds I did. Did you do a lot of damage though? Mm hmm. Not really. But I still took a well, lot. Well, you might just want to not bother with control in fact at all. You know what I mean? Well, one on one, I put a small ladder on so I would stop getting rammed to death. Yeah. And also because there was a whole bunch of one on ones running around. So that would reduce the high explosive damage to my tank. You know what I could do? Trick driving. That's perfect. I know what I'm doing now. For my fourth piece of equipment, I am doing traction system, and for the last skill, I'm doing trick driving.
because I was thinking. I remember Paul saying, like, uh, he likes me when I think out of the box, because I like think out of the box. So, by thinking behind this, is I going to have it speed? Speed? Survivability proof. Because it's a medium. If I could trick people. Well, thinking out of the box is using trick driving, which reduces fall damage by 30%. And remember, they took my swimming lessons away. Where I used to use that skill because it was just a unique skill. It would confuse people when you go in water and hold them down there. And you can get to places that normal people couldn't get because they couldn't survive long enough in water. So this is going to be my new skill. Trick driving. What would make this better is if I put the advanced suspension on. Because that reduces fall damage even more. So that's going to be great. Yeah, if you go with one, you got to go with the other. you got to do both. If you're going to do one, you got to do both. Well, I did trick driving because I want to have, like, this as a veil. Memes! Well, I was doing this equipment setup and skills as skills I recommend for the T-55. Not memes yet, because I need like a perfect setup for the tank. I definitely want to have like some setups where I just put it all into fall damage where I just don't take that much damage from fall damage and just jump off cliffs and people follow me they see me like take a hundred damage and they take full damage funniest thing ever they'll see me jumping and saying it's like oh it only took like a hundred damage they jump dies because I think that's funny Especially when somebody's following you. Chasing you. It's like that match I had with the Skoda T-50 if you watched my replay of the Skoda T-50. Where it was on Mountain Pass. This was my last video on the Skoda T-50 on the Cold War. Where that tank, I think it was a T-54? Or a TIG CC2? I don't... Is the object 140 or T54 that came up? And it was full health, and I had no idea. To, I had a plan, like lead them, go down the hill, but lead them to a spot where if he didn't control his speed and watch out for this certain rock, it would kill him. And that's exactly what I did. Led him to that rock and didn't pay attention. Hit that rock and went flipping. So it killed his entire tank. Oh yeah, that's like that's like a classic uh, pilot maneuver. You see it a lot in, uh, you know, uh, uh, dog fighting and stuff like that, where you know you can. And there's a lot of interesting different terrain. You can you know, lead the pilot as somebody that's chase, following you. You can lead them down into a precarious area. And if you're a better pilot than them, then you, know, you live, they die. Fun stuff. Yep. The enemy knows All right, Ben. Spotted. I'm going to go to the other side because we've got a light tank over here. All right. That light tank is the tank spotting us. Yeah, that's Scorpion 90. Nine. I don't really want to tangle with him up close. You stop here and shoot these tanks. Enemies looking right at us. 
Oh, he just got shot in the side. Type 82. Hello, TR 580. Just realize you are a TR 580. So I don't need to shoot you in your upper plate. Or it's just going to bounce. Where are you going, TR-580? We didn't oh. Do do do. Weird. Do 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 do. Ow. Getting pen like crazy. What I say is looking for 211 in armor wise, sort of. Actually, yes, but as a medium. There's not like a heavy version of it, it's just like a medium. Where it will bounce a lot of shots, but not as much as the 4211. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, because the 4211 is a heavy tank. And this yeah. Is we got him. Doo, doo, doo. She's Fresh is decently close. Ow. Ow. What is it to be? It's a lunt toast. It's on to. Is my platoon full? It's not. Platoon's open now, so. Hello, Hudson. I keep getting beat up by, like, other tanks. If I wasn't getting beat up by other tanks, I'd definitely be fighting this Fortune 11. What tank is there again? Um, the. What's the 934. 934. The 63 HG to me is just so much better than this kind of stuff. In every way, almost every way. Why am I aiming at terrible spots on the 4211? Ow, the leopard actually pinned me. I do see a downfall to this tank. Ammunition count. Ow. I'm dead. Hello, Scoopy. Just got shot to pieces. Wait, I went back to the garage. No! I'm dead. I have 33,000 so far. I was playing the Ajit Nano 7. Watch your video on it, and I'm not very good at it. Could you show me how to play it? It also, am I allowed to join your platoon? Yes, you're allowed to join the platoon. Can I show you how to play the 934? I mean, 907? Yes. It depends. How many of you guys have I made on the Ajit Nano 7? I got about 6,000 to mine in that. That's pretty good. That's cool. Battle. Thanks. Should the... Uh, I have Because I remember making one video on the 907. Send him to heaven in the 907. 
I remember making my first video on the 907. I remember getting rushed to make that video. This is back when I bought every single premium tank. I bought every single premium tank as fast as I possibly could and wanted to get a video out as, poss right. as fast as I possibly could before everybody else. Which is actually how it helped me grow. And the... I think it was the 934. I've done a 7. But I remember going back on that tank and being like, Wow! I completely misjudged that tank. Because I didn't give it the time to play it. I think it was the 907. Still in my 430 U crew. Oh, why the heck not? Jay Jurgen? I, d I have no idea how to say, say your name. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Hello. Dookie said, if I like the 934, I like the other tank. Can you repeat what their tank was? Thanks. The Type 63HG. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the only bad thing about it so oh. far that, that I've noticed is that it's huge. And it looks like a boat. Okay. I made. Of course, in Cold War, being large is not good. Okay, I'm gonna figure out if it's the 907. It Nine was the 907! Yeah. Because I told people to snipe, snipe in the 907, because that was the best way to play it. And that was, uh, how old is this video? 2019, September 24th. Yeah, that was back when I bought every single free meal tank. But since then, I have made so many videos on the 907. I've made one, two, three, four, five, six videos on the 907. Hopefully, you've seen one of the newer ones. And not my tank review on the 907. <laughs> For two reasons. One, wrong about the tank in that video, and two, that was three years ago. So, three years ago, it was a bad video. At the time, I thought it was good. Probably. I haven't watched it in forever. So, the 907, it actually has really good armor. It could actually size creep because it has like a boat shape. The guns. Really nice. Really good too. It's like a 5.5 second reload. Uh, I'm pretty sure your gun depression sucks. If you get in that per perfect position of side scraping, it's thinking to really nice. Or using like gun. So diggy. I don't think the depression is that much better off the side either. Yeah. Still waiting for that YouTube channel. Right. I gotta keep pressuring you every single day I'll see you. That's cool. Then one day you'll finally make it and be like, hey, I finally made one. I mean you I have made a video one. the other day just, just for fun because I was locked out of things, you know. I, uh -huh. made a, I made a video just like while I was still streaming, but you know, like I put something else on my stream, like a, uh, I ran like a replay of something else, and then I went and made the video really quick. Uh, ah. 
Anyway, so it's just just an experiment. I was experimenting with because you can't, you know, I can't really multi-screen, but you know, like I wouldn't be able to cut part of the video of what I was doing since it was on stream, you know what I mean, would be able to post it within 24 hours. So I tried something else, which was fun. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again sometime. Ow. There's a spark. Oh, really? But definitely, I, I also really want to try uh, doing some streaming on YouTube as well. That's really, really interesting because I want to just test the video quality. I know I'm going to be able to get a lot better video quality. I keep getting sniped by a third spot. Yeah, this spot sucks. I'm out of here. I'm going to go help my 50, our 57. Ah, uh, this third one's going to shoot me. Luckily, we're in 907, so. Pretty decently cut armor. Oh, Hudson's over there fighting the third spawn. I'll go around the right side of this rock. Oh no, there's a full health conquer. Oh crap. Never mind, I'm not going that way. Nope. Oh well. You saved that shot for me. You did. Yeah. Yep. We're just gonna kill this cocker. Uh we're gonna have artillery attention. Yay. Right now or very soon. There's a bot. There's another tank out there too, I I don't know what it is. Do you know? I don't remember. I think it's a heavy Oh, it's the M48. If we can get rid of him, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight for him, get rid of him. I'll put a shot into him. Excellent. Lovely. There's a TD behind me. It's the first one. Ow. Why did he shoot me? I'm dead. I'm playing that again. Oh god, the artillery was right there in my face. <laughs> you know it's bad when Artie's just rolling. Like that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna watch her artillery. Never mind. Was our artillery AFK the entire game? Or did they just move and run, run away and quit? Hey. Yeah, Object 907, I don't know, dude. Uh, I say just pad. Don't bother. Just buy other tanks with your uh, free XP. If you're going to buy it with free XP. And if you're spending gold on it, just buy other tanks. Buy tier 8 premiums and gold or premiums. It's kind of a... See you, Paul. Thanks for watching. It, it can be okay. Can be? Yeah, but we we needed different tanks for that battle. Those the fights we were fighting right there, we needed different tanks for those fights, man. Oh wait, I can't customize this crew. Like sitting around on those rocks what? trying to shoot stuff. Like no, we need something with some gun depression. That does, you know what I mean? It doesn't have these big flat like shoot me sides. You know. I lost too much hit points against a stern funk that kept sniping me in the side. I mean, I'll, I'll that was give annoying. It one more shot, but. But I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, yes, it can be good, but, you know, unless you've got tons of free XP sitting around in your garage, unless you're just, you know, just tons of gold burning all in your pocket, just don't even worry about it. It's not, you know, it's, it's not like that one tier 10 premium, the Tehran, that's obviously very, very, very good. And, 
Well, you know, the person aren't that many tier ten tank destroyers, and it's one of them. Where, when it comes to tier ten mediums, there's so many. Like you just, especially it's Russian tier ten medium. It's like, how many can you list? Well, you're not gonna be able to list them all. There's too many. Well, so. the first thing that asked about the nine hundred seven is in the platoon at the moment. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I, I'm just saying. I'm saying for the rest of the viewers, anyone who doesn't have the nine hundred seven, like just you know, save it for later down the road. You know, it's an end game type of thing just to sort of have, but I wouldn't really. It's not like an incredible experience that you have to try yourself or anything like that. It's just another tank. If you want a heavy medium, this is your tank. Yeah. But really, you died in the first. Go with like a medium heavy instead. You lasted 30 seconds and still finished sixth place because you one shotted that tank. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a good battle for us. There's a lot of TDs out there. That's the only dangerous part. But there's only a few heavies for us to contend with. I mean, we can be really big, brutish mediums once we get rid of those heavies. Hey, our artillery kills. So, like... How do you kill yourself there? <laughs> they were in A2. I think they fell off a rock or something. I'm confused. What's the plan? Are we wrapping all the way around to the other side, or are we uh, collapsing back into Yeah, the something like that. I was staying far. Alright. Stay low for now. Just keep going Well, fast. I'm getting into this dip down here. Okay. It's not going to get spotted. Well, I got yeah. spotted, so... Yeah, I've been spotted. That's why I'm in I the dip. Keep rolling. Well, that's why I went to this, like, I found a nice retreat area. There's Jaegeru right there. We just need him. You're in a pretty nice area. Jaegeru's turning towards me. Hey, Walter, say hello. Yeah. He also got a 48 pattern. I think that's the same 48 pattern last game. Things I'm in a great spot, but to actually get my gun down to where I can shoot the enemy, that's not that's not happening. Once I do, I'm exposed. So. All right, it's time to dip down and get a little closer. Hold up, I'm... Is... Yeah, you stay there. I'll go light him up. Wait, you don't have to light him up. I know where he is. I'm shooting him. Right. I was. Must have moved behind the rock. Yeah, Progetto 65 rolling in too. Oh, critical damage, what? What? What am I shooting? Pajetto, Pajetto, Pajetto! I bounced. Oh, it's the conqueror who's in the first place. Move, move. I was coming to save you. I try to get behind you. So yeah, it's just kind of okay, you know. Really, I stand by what I said. It's, you know, it's not. I like the thing. worst. It's not the worst Soviet premium tier ten medium that you can. It's the only tier ten Soviet medium. No, it's not. What's the Is other it? one? It is. Oh, uh, it's better than the Chinese one. Let's see, right? Every, yeah, everything's better than the Chinese one. Every single other premium take. 
is better than the Chinese medium, right? Uh huh. <laughs> the one to one is way better. So, oh no! I went back to the no. garage again. <laughs> oh. Force of habit. Oh. Reported. <laughs> Let's hold on. Gotta go. Gotta go report Alan Kelly for um, sports. I'm just playing. Uh, okay. I'm going to play a tank. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, speaking of polls, what's been going on? So let me get my tank ready. No, there's the T-22 slot. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Okay, so the polls, the tank polls, who's winning? The VZ of 55 won, which I told you about, right? Mm -hmm. 60%. So the current poll is the IS-4 versus the 279E. Who do you think's winning? 279, baby. It is. It's actually yeah. winning by a large margin. Yeah. 152 votes, 63% 279E, 38% IS4. Am I surprised? No. Am I disappointed? Yes. That's a good way to put it, yeah. Not surprised at all, of course. I'm not surprised. No. To make it fair, I'm not going to give my opinions on the tank. Yet. I will definitely yeah. make a video. Going over, like, all the results. As soon as, like, the entire poll is done. And being like, did I agree with this one? Did I not? Was this tank voted for because it has a reputation? A misleading reputation? Or was it voted for because it's actually good? That's the veil I'm going to make. I think I'm going right. Go then. So what? Go then. I am going. Go then. I think I put my IS4 crew in here. Hope we make it. I hope we make it. Um, and the other tank, yes. This tank, probably not. Oh crap! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. To the tip. Is he shooting you? Yep. Okay, I'm coming out there. I'll drop some fire. I'll start shooting him. They're shooting me now. He's still alive? Okay, good, 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 good. He's backing out. Must be reloading. Yeah, I'm on my way. He's got 257. Yep. I'm gonna dip down into the low low. Hide sensor. Okay. Don't, don't, yeah. My walk is going to be reloading at some point soon. Ish. What's the artillery? It's a T92, so that's going to really hurt. 
Waffles reloaded. Mm-hmm. You can't kill all three of us. Be dead soon. Waffles reloading. Nice. Hudson just got the like, kill with a small gun. Beautiful. Do, do, do. I've been spotted. Oh, kill it. Fired. Uh. I died. <laughs> I How much damage did I block? 3200? Oh, not bad. Oh no, the weakness. The two sudden NIE. Trim me around. Can't get any more of those. You better kill that TIE 5 before the TIE 5 fuels you. Slash when the TIE 5 reloads. Can't tell if he fired. He's watching he's you. Shot. Oh, what? Oh, darn it. I was poked out too far. Yeah, he's holding his shot the entire time. Everyone else was shooting at him. He's behind a rock. For that 268 has five hit points. You know what? I have an idea. You know what my idea is? Uh oh. Uh, do I want to know? It's fun. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Well, later on, I want to change the title of my ad thumbnail. And probably promote it on my Discord. And smaller Discord. And the White Console Discord. And my Twitter. And other places. I won't list. Okay. For a custom game map. We made jumping custom games for the last hour of my stream. And I want to get as many artillery in a match as I want, as I can. And just play an artillery match. Okay, and just artillery shooting artillery? Yes, that sounds fantastic. Okay. To one match of Himmelsdorf. Does that sound amazing? Sure. How much silver what do you have? What are we playing have? now? Uh, probably going to make some silver. I don't have much silver. How much do you have? 1.3 mil. Yeah, you got more than me. 
I need to buy the turret upgrade for my 63HG, though. It's 1.9 mil. Oh. I have 140,000. All right, Hudson, have fun eating. If you're an artillery, you might want to come back later. Because that's going to be a fun match. Because I want to get as many artillery in a match as possible. It's just shotgun. <laughs> Does that sound fun? Diggy? That sounds kind of fun. Yeah, it does sound kind of fun. You said you would I'm be the judge of that. It's not the kind of fun that involves me in getting exploded or like pushed off a cliff or something. Oh, but that's I'm the best kind of, kind of fun. But that's yeah, the best kind of fun. Back. No, no. I said it's it. the ouchy fun. So, are you saving your big commander boosters for the Halloween mode? No, should I? Yes. Okay. Take it. Because they usually are in a lot of commander XP in the hallway mode. Did you forget about that? Nope. I wonder how long the uh, hallway mode is going to last for. Hopefully it's like two weeks. Instead of the one week. Dur Rage Muggy. Mucky. Is in the Leopard 1A1. Did you get the 48 Patton or the 57 Heavy? Also, hello, Astro. It more depends on you. Do you want a all-around balanced medium tank that can pretty much have armor, the rate of fire, view range, and somewhat mobility? Then that's the 48 Patton. And the 48 Patton's line is pretty good. Or do you want a heavy tank that has okay armor, but it's more about the gun where there's a four shot auto loader gun that can do 1600 damage very quickly and reload in like 20 seconds both tanks are really good but if I had to pick one which one I thought was the best I would pick the 57 heavy which would you pick Turkey? Okay? 57 or 48. It's, it's a tough choice because, you know, it just depends. Like, if it's, if they don't have any, if they don't have a tier 10 heavy or a tier 10 medium, like, I don't know then. There's maybe, maybe better to go with the medium first and then, and then get the heavy. Um, it just depends. Because it's a, it's, the 257 is a great heavy, but it is still an auto um, I don't know, mediums are so versatile. Huh? Um, how long am I going to be streaming for? Basically two hours, but about an hour of that is going to be in custom game. Because artillery matches. All right, I'm up here with you. All righty. Boing. Look at how side scraping abilities is in this tank. That's one of the things that I liked about the 122. 
Because you have no idea <laughs> what's miss. You have no idea what's missile tube the missiles coming out of. Well, do you or don't you? That's the thing. Maybe, maybe the the third one two. It must go in an order. I, I haven't figured out the on order the right yet. Hand side one. I must be on the right hand side one. I must go like this side. Right? That that sucks. That's why I quit playing the one two and one for a while, and the one two two. Because I kept getting annoyed because I would always get my missile into a wall or something. Why is everybody ramming me? Smash. Take go in, you stupid boat. Get out of the way. Go back to the water. It's not easy to steer those things. Hello. Um, our base is in trouble. Very much. Welcome back, Heston. All right, where is the tanks capping our base? Oh, it's Arctic Hess. Hi, Arctic Hess. You can't pin me. Good luck. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Ow. Why? Why is that? Are you a friendly? You are not a friendly. My gunner's knocked out. I'm just gonna have to go up there and press my barrel up against him. Of oh, the BMP2, after you unlock the BMP3, there are two gun upgrades in bike, right? That you need to buy. Both as one improves the chain gun, the other is a missile? Yes. You gotta buy both guns. Well, one gun is for the main gun, one's for the missiles. You're welcome. Seven thousand combined. Oh. 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 Big sad. Big sad. Small, small sad. Small sad. Small sad. <laughs> small sad. Oh wait, fork and joint. I wonder how many people we can get in one castle gates with nothing but artillery. Now the question is, what kind of artillery are you picking, Dickie? Oh, I don't know. 
So no. Oh, I don't know. You're back. Welcome I back. Have no idea. So I made a list of commanders, three D commanders that <clears throat> I don't already have that can be purchased with silver. Ah. So I can like add them to the collection. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. But we need like more three D commanders, so because I don't want to have like the season gets you five like copies of the same commander. That's going to get confusing. You can name them. Name them all, Karen. <laughs> yep. There you go. Name them all the same. Karen. Oh, the with Karen. Then there's Karen. Karen. Then there's Karen. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Should be there. We'll have to go on my RD account though. It don't have like to ten that yet. So not spend too much time on there. So mid tier for me. Any tier artillery should be fine. Even tier two. Be great. We shall join. Nice. So basically, that's going to happen like 30 ish minutes. This is already apocalypse. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Do you want to um, jump into uh, Era 3 for a couple of games to make silver? Absolutely. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, all you had to do was suggest or ask. Oh, the 1411 knows where to bend me. <laughs> he should my little plate. Yeah. Stop doing this. Well, there's a pink to the side of me. I'm getting rammed. I got smoke. Smoke incoming. My gunner was dead and my track was disabled. But it did bounce 3100. My god's five. Why are you playing the cost five? Why not? It's a premium game that I own. Oh, you don't like it? No. What would you suggest I use instead? The Magot Six B Gal. Oh. I don't have that. No, I'm using a premium during silver man. Even if I had the six B, I still wouldn't be, able to be using it at the moment. Have you played this my gosh six week gal? No, but still, like I said, premium. I, I know, but during credits. You know, I will get there eventually. It's just they released a new medium one, and the new media, you know, it's like there's more and more and more. So just got to do the newer ones first. Always the newer ones first, and then so I'll get to it soon. A gunner's knocked out. This is frustrating. There we go. Point blank range. That is just a shot. Five tanks left. If someone doesn't use the six and one, you'll be surprised, lol. I don't know what I'm going to use. I mean, there's multiple tanks like artillery I can use. I can use the tier 6 French artillery. The I could use Bert. I could use Super Bert. I can use my 5355. 
I think one of the matches, I think the first match I'll do on Hebblestorf. So that match would pretty much be shotgunning only. No. Oh, back to the garage. Error three time. I do think that the Magog 5 is pretty good though. It's a pretty solid little uh, tank for only, what, 2,000 gold is what you wind up paying for it? I mean, I think it's pretty solid, pretty good all around tank for a season pass. You know. He's a past tank. Oh, look, I got I mean, just, just, just think, you know, like compared with the 934, I mean, so many more people are going to enjoy the Magok 5 a lot more than the, than the 9, something like the 934. It takes a very specific type of tanker to actually like the 934. And there's not that many of them out there. I'd say, you know, 10, 20% of people are going to actually like it. Everyone you know, else is going to hate it. I remember hating the 934. Then I played in the match. I don't remember do why. Poll, dude. I don't remember what. You should do a poll down the 934. What should That's the poll right. say? Do a poll down it. I don't know. Is it is it good or is it garbage? Garbage or good? Yeah, you're an A? Yeah. Smash or pass? <laughs> Put that as a result. <laughs> Answers. Smash your <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. 934, there you go. I know. Sorry, not sorry. I'm back here. But I, I, I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I'm kind of warming up to it. Just like you said, Slap, you played it initially, you didn't like it, but then you played it again and you warmed up to it. Yeah. Um, I don't remember I why I if, played it again. Yeah, I think maybe people took it out again. I mean, Cold War was kind of newish when we, when we were using them. Mm -hmm. um, armadillos were out there, like, stomping over everything, peeing all over everybody. Yeah, I can't remember. Either way, I went in that game with like a one skill competitor. I, did I even go in? Either way, it was a one skill competitor. Probably click learner on it. And I did like 8,000 damage in it. And I carried that team. I was like, I don't remember this tank being good. But wow. I like it. Well, I mean, it's kind of like that T100. You know, the gun does work. It's just all about getting in the right spot, right position where it can actually do its job. That can be situation. It can be a little tricky, but once you do, that was on Dragon Ridge. It can be quite rewarding if you just get in the right spot, right place at the right time. I do want to remark this thing. Then I'll probably move to the MP. I flipped. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, I want to three mark this tank. Then as soon as I three mark this tank, I'll move to the MBT-70 to make my silver for bar with... I... I'm about to flip my tank again. After I just flipped over. Because the MBT-70 and this tank are really good at making silver. So you mark this one, I'll go to the MBT-70. Then after the MBT-70, I'll probably go to the Type Shutter Rock. The Type 59D, I think it is? Or the TCM? One the two. Wait, there's not the cap? Nice shot. shot. Oh, 
curse you smoke. It always goes higher than I want it to. Ow! Getting shot. Why is there a bee behind me? I don't have to point my barrel down at the ground just to have smoke go where I want it to. You know what I mean? But, but right now, that's what you have to do. Ow. You stop, you have to point your barrel way down at the ground just to, just to get your smoke to not, like, fly away somewhere where you don't need it. Nice. Two tanks off. One tank off. Just got a ram. Do it. Aw. Thought the one A two was gonna ram him. What about 10 Arnie's versus a mouse? Hey, I'm about to get my Psycho Mark of Excellence on the tank. I want to see 29... 29 something versus a mouse. Oh, 29... That's, that's what I want to see. That's perfect. That's what I can pay to the shotgunning match. The equalizer with the barrage gun. You miss one shot, well, you got three more. It's perfect. No, I can also see this during the shotgun match. You miss, and the other person miss. There's two of you that come around the corner. You both miss, so you just kind of like try to ram each other to death for like 30 seconds. Until somebody reloads. Or yeah, both ran away. Or just back away. Slowly. Had multiple gains and eventually decided nope, took everything off, even the ammo and free skin. Really? You even took the skin off the 934? See what I mean, dude? Yeah. Most people hate it. Most people, a lot of people sold it, I bet. I bet a lot of people sold it. Poor 934. It just wants to be a tank. <laughs> With missiles. A free tank. I don't know. You can't, you haven't sold it because you might get the free one for for gold or silver. Yep, it's always good not to sell a premium type. Even if you don't like it, because you may get in guard, or it may come as a season pass. You get the silver for it. Or it may get buffed, if it really is a steaming hot pile of tanky garbage that, then they will buff it eventually. Someday. You know what? That's something that kind of annoys me. What? People getting mad that they keep putting the same tanks in season passes. Uh, or like, why? It's free stuff. If you already have the tank, that's like four million silver. I'll take the silver. What you do? Yeah, but yes, right. But at the same time, um, really, it, the unfortunate thing about it is that what, you know, what they're doing is catering to newer players. And that's fine, right? They do a lot of catering to newer players. But the, the problem is, I think, is that there's too much, it seems, like catering to newer players 
what are they doing? What are they giving us older players like, you know, to have all that other stuff? We want something new. We want something different. We want to be wild and windy. You know, we want something that, that we can use. And uh, sometimes it feels like we're a bit left out. And, and it's, it's unfortunate because, you know, those of us who've been around for a long time, we've been, we put a lot of time into the game. We put a lot of you know, love and a lot of money into it. And it feels like we're getting rewarded the least. And these new people that just walk in, you know, pooping on the game because they, they know nothing, you know, they just walk in there and they get everything handed to them on a silver platter and they get all this free crap that they don't even have to pay for. So, you know, I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like that's sort of the, the feeling that a lot of people get from these season passes when there's, you know, just a bunch of re gifting of stuff they already have. That's sort of the feeling I get. It makes me feel that way sometimes. Hmm. Were we doing the Arnie thing? Like 20 something minutes? I forgot to take off Father's Ride. Right? I mean, you'll think about five tanks in a season pass, and one of them is reused. What about the other four? Why just focus on the one that's being reused? Right. Well, there's a lot of reused ones this time, though. Everything's being reused except one, right? Say what? Every tank of the season pass is being reused except one. And then the ultimate gets you, if you buy the ultimate, you get one more and you so you want. Are we Those who have most of the tanks in the game, you're only getting two new tanks, so you have to buy the ultimate, otherwise you're only getting one new tank. I'm confused. Are we talking about the same thing? He's in pass. Yes. I'm still confused. What tanks do you get in the season pass? The T-77, the Ripper, the T-55, Numa, um, what else? Is that it? Right. All the other tanks they're giving are tanks that, like, I mean, the T-77, everybody earned that before. So... Yeah. Over a year ago. Year and a half ago. Yeah. And it sucked then. It's gonna suck worse now. I mean, let's talk about the Ripper. Preferential tank, tier five. I don't think it's ever been a season pass. Say what? Yeah, but what about all the people that have that already? That's all. I mean, it's kind of hard to create it. Well, if it's an old premium tank they're putting in the season pass, then a lot of people are already going to have it anyway. Funded. Okay. So, quite figure out how to win this. That's a two-shot Merkava, that's a one-shot 85. Never mind, that's not a one-shot 85 anymore. I shot the Challenger. It's dead. Focus attention here. Enemy armor is damaged. We lost an He's shooting the Challenger 11. I wish I had rapid lighting on this tank. Rapid lighting would be very nice at the moment. Oh, 
There's a Moe's behind me. Thanks for leaving. Well, sorry about that. I just, uh, just trying to go with the flow, man. Just trying to go with the flow. And there's turbulent waters out there. Oh, wait, what happened to my team? There was four of us, and now there's just me. <laughs> what happened to me? Ah! That's the three. <laughs> oh! Wow. <laughs> well, I am saving that one. Okay. So, Jackie, how much silver do you have at the moment? Two mil. Two mil? Yeah. Nice. There's another bot! Huh. Why is it not popping up? Am I just seeing old messages that popped up on my PlayStation? I've been pinged, not pinged. I promise I won't leave you this time, buddy. So. Do you know how close you are to that second mark on your MVP? Mm, no, I just, just, uh, no, I'm like 67 or 68 percent. You got a three mark? The thing it? is, like the tanks, the tanks just too much fun, so I do a lot of messing around in it, and um, and since I use it so much for grinding credits, I do a lot of crew training in it now too. So, you know, that's not really conducive to like marking it really fast so I'm just playing it and seeing what happens huh. you know. I agree with your point on two foot contains been playing six years and built up 258 wait 258 million credits from the old drink battles and doing outs for duplicate tanks. Yeah. They put a duplicate tank in the season, right? So you get like millions of silver. Yeah, but that but if you have that much, do you really need one? Wouldn't you rather have tanks instead? Well most people want premium tanks to grant silver. Or cruise. They already have duplicate tanks. Then they probably already have a lot of premium tanks. Like, I'm missing. I would take me for a second, because I just got. I'm missing quite a bit of premium tanks. It'd be nice if they did put them in the season pass so I could earn them, because I want every single premium tank in the game. But, you know what's nicer? Getting duplicate tanks. I'm just saying. Because currently, you can have 258 million silver and go through it very, very quickly. Well, 
Um, faster than you ever could before. The thing is, <laughs> I guess the the point I'm trying to make is some people feel like you know, the most loyal customers are you know, getting the, the least, and you know they're getting the least amount of like appreciation. You know, rewards and stuff like that and uh, you know, maybe there's something that they could do that war gaming could do I know they have the type uh, of reward system like what? loyalty rewards I don't know like maybe the longer you've played like you know there's some op but like the more years you've played the more stuff you get we're talking about people complaining about duplicate tanks right? yes But I, but I think I think what I'm saying is more of the the real issue is that you know some of the most loyal customers are feeling like they're rewarded the least. You know, people that you know have all this stuff have most of the premium tanks. They probably don't need any more silver either. You know, but of course it's hard to please those people at the same time. They have everything. What do you get for the person that has everything? It's a gift shop for someone that has everything. I was just in my volume second settings. And I just seen y'all were surrounded by their entire oh, team. Yeah. They <laughs> as soon as I got done, I was like, oh crap. This is a very effective smash down that street. Okay. I'm fixing audio settings. By duplicate tanks, I mean like the same tank in a season that was in a season before. Some right, people get mad in that a season before. Some people get mad that they've given the fuzz away, fatherland away like five or seven times. Right. Is it seven in total? I don't remember how many times in this total. They've gave the fatherland away so many times. I've also count. I was never counting. Just a few too many, right? I mean... Just a few too many. If you don't want the fatherland, I mean... It's like, if you already have the Father Land, and you don't want the Father Land, or well, if you already had the Father Land, and there's an urn up come up for the Father Land, you just kind of pretend there was never an urn up for the Father Land anyway. You don't have to grind for it. It's not, the game's not making you grind for it. Ah, ah, I've got an idea. Um... You know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe more hero skins. Uh, what if, uh, you know, if they're re-given a tank that, a premium tank that already existed, right? What about, like, a different skin for a premium tank? Something to, you know, like, I don't know, I'm just thinking. Well, I have a counter-argument. Not because I would make it, because I can definitely see comments and... People making videos about this one. He's like, there's not enough premium things in the season pass. They just replaced them with hero skins. No, I I, I meant like along along with, you know, or something. That's, that's what they do. Like maybe or the are you just saying comes with something in it. It does. I'm going to hold up. Give me a second. I know you think we get plenty with the season pass, but we're always going to want more, man. Slap, we want more. We want more free stuff. More free stuff. More, 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 more. The enemy is defending a position up ahead. It's our mission to take it from them. But really, though, we do get a lot of free stuff.
I wasn't mad because I was playing anyway, so I'm like, okay. I was kind of irritated I didn't get the premium thing because I worked for it. Yeah, but I was like, I got over it quick because it was like, I was playing anyway, so I was like, okay. Wait, so did you do the first fatherland? Is that what you're saying? You did yes. the first fatherland that? Yeah, where they gave tokens away. You had to get like right, five or seven you... tokens. And it was oh, randomly. You out on that one? No, I never got a single token. I played the entire event, <laughs> but never got a single token. I never got a single token. Because it was random. I know so many people that played even more than me and they didn't get it and they were so salted, so burned afterwards, they just stopped playing. A lot of people stopped playing after that. They lost, lost taste for the game. Because it hurt and it's like, geez, all that work for nothing. Well, I didn't look at it and be like, oh. I couldn't work for it because all you had to do was just play. And you would just randomly get one. So I was like, you know what? I was playing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I was kind of ticked off and never got a stupid medal. Or a token to get the final end with. And you had to get like five or seven of them. It's kind of ticked off because it was random and there was nothing I could do to fix that, right. but I was like, you know what, I was playing anyway, and I was still going to play, even though that op wasn't going on, so I was like, okay. Right. Here's, here's the other thing about it, here's the other tragic thing about it, like, after I got that, right, I mean, at the time, you know, there, you know, that was the second or third premium tank that they gave out with, I think it was the third premium tank that they gave out for, for an op. And uh, third tier eight premium thing uh, ever, and so it was a pretty big deal. But you know, I got mine pretty early on, but I didn't feel right using it because it like made everyone like it would get people upset, you know, because like they didn't get one or they they are you know they were still grinding for it but hadn't got it. So I didn't. I got mine like right away, like within the first day or two, but. Almost no one out like some people I know did, but that's like I would only be able to use it solo. Because if I would use it in a in a platoon, a five person platoon, like somebody or more more than one person in there would be like salted about it. You know, but they didn't get it, and then they, they worked really hard. You know, I was in and, the friend uh, group where you got that thing. I was following. I was like, oh, chill off. Like after tank, I was like, oh, I got it. But I never got it, so the people got it were like, Hey, look, I got this tank. You didn't. So fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could be like that. I'm, I'm just, that's just not my style, you know. Yeah, so it was I the part just, of the friend group I was in. It's fun oh, friend group. Okay. I would just, like, dip out and play it, out, play it solo on my own when, you know, when I was playing on my own. I, I'd get out of my system then. <laughs> I wouldn't take it out when I was playing with other people. For the longest time, for you know, a couple years actually, years, it was like only soloing basically. Unless I was with certain people that I knew about it. And that's how uh, MBT70 beats a leopard. 2A5. Voila. That was always happened with any Erdop. Because the people that we get first would be like, ha, huh, showing it off. Playing non stop. Right, but, <laughs> it's like, but, uh -huh. but with the Fatherland, though, like, it was because it was bugged because the randomness. Like, it was okay with the other ops because you work for it, you get it. Yeah. So if you didn't get it, you didn't work for it. So, yeah, suck it. <laughs> work harder next time, scrub. Right? But. With the Fatherland, mm -hmm. you can't do that. You can't say that because, like, I knew people that worked two, three, four, five times as hard as I did and didn't get it. 
and I felt genuinely really bad for them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they totally deserved it more than I did. I gladly give mine to them, but you know. Yeah. Hello, Mark. That was the tragic thing about that one, and they never did that again. Never yeah. again. Thankfully. <laughs> never <Okay>. again. <laughs> so we're gonna play one more game. We're gonna play one more game in multiplayer. Then after this game, we're gonna go into castle games, and we're gonna set up the artillery matches. We're also gonna sit in there for a bit, let people join. Okay. Hello, Mark. Hello, Dean. What would you say is the best tier ten heavy tank with decent armor, gun, and speed? If there are any, are any. Despite the poll that is going on right now, IS-4. You can't go wrong with the IS-4. It's got the armor, it's got the speed, it's got a really good gun. Here, I'll list off more. We're talking about only World War II here. IS-4 line, the e, uh, T-110E5 line is great. What else? The Amex M454 line. It's great. Tier, the French heavy tank line. What else would be a great line? I can't really say anything about the German lines. Because the only line I've grown up through is the Panzer 7 line. And it's been forever. I don't want to say 57 Heavy tank line, because there's only one t Heavy, and that's the 57 Heavy, and it's not really heavily armored. This doesn't even have decent armor. It is okay armor. Any ideas, Dickie? Decent armor, good gun, and Good mobility. IS-7 hands down. No. IS-4. Super Conquer. Super Conquer? Yeah. For a lot of people, yeah. I'm not saying like my own personal choice. I'm kind of trying to pull back and, and well, think about what... Well, good, uh, good mobility. Would you... What a lot of folks are, are going to take to, and I think the Super Conquer definitely checks almost all of those boxes. You know, yeah, like, you know, face-to-face -face on f flat ground without any cover or something like that, it's a little bit of a different story, but a lot of people don't like to fight that way anyway, so... Uh, in almost any other situation, yeah, Super Conquer is going to do the job for so many people. Because so Soviets just don't have the gun depression. You know? And people need their depression. Is nobody just playing Era 3? Did people I'm, just, I'm just quit? Uh, They're like, you know what? I'm tired of Era 3. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Is that what just happened here? No! Crap. Why would you... You did it. So, I think I'm going to install, and I, I'd recommend maybe you do this, like that, unless you have some other setup. Install what? Uh, different platforms. I think I'm going to put uh, a different program other than uh, OBS uh, for streaming to YouTube, because basically when you switch from one to the other, 
it's like resets your login. You have to re-log in every time. You know? Oh, does it? And for a YouTube login, it's fine and easy, but for a Twitch login, it could be tricky, and sometimes it might want to yeah, send your phone a text and then to switch back and forth. Uh, kind of a pain. So I think I might just <coughs> install uh, Streamlabs as well. Something like that. Just a second program to stream from. So I can have one set for the one set for the other. I definitely won that fight. I've never used Streamlabs, but people said that Streamlabs was better at streaming than OBS was. Well, that's the other the other benefit is you could try both and see for yourself. There's nothing wrong with having both, and actually, I I recommend recommend having both installed for oh, most yeah. folks. So both or more than one type of streaming platform. This one can always feel kind of funky, and so it's good to have a backup. Sometimes, if you're trying to do one particular thing in one, it might not work well. I used to get that uh, with uh, you know, game capture. One of the one of the programs wouldn't work for capturing my my game window on the computer. And the other one did. So good to have both. Is that a tank of armor? It is. Yeah. Oh, uh, somebody's in trouble. Falcon's in trouble. Yeah, boy. I'm going yep, to go yep, help Falcon. Yep, 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 yep. yep. The enemy is looking brighter. I don't have smoke. Smoke would be great. I do. I do. Stay there. Ah. Smoke it. No, the damn smoke. Get in the smoke. I hate where I pot smoke too. Keep forgetting to like look at the ground. The enemy is looking uh, need to smoke the ground. Smoke the ground. Smoke the ground. Smoke the ground. That's yeah, that's gonna be my mark. Smoke the ground. Because generally you want to put the smoke where you're at, and in order to do that, you have to smoke the ground. Oh yeah, uh, the castle gang thing is gonna be on the NA server. Thanks, Dean. I mean, you're welcome, Dean. Um, also, if you want to see some IS4 videos, they're all over my channel. <laughs> Just search up Slap a Fish in your IS4. The enemy is There's a ton of them. I don't know how many exactly. Probably like 20, 25. Okay, go ahead. Don't my drop. Uh, Commander out. Is this the only thing here? It's Apparently. That one left nice. Took a lot more damage from him than I thought I was going to do. That's what I planned on, guys. <clears throat>
Table controller. It was about to jump off my table. Well, I saw palm tree go down over in the town there to the left. Yep, right over there. <laughs> Squeaky chair. Oh, flat jack. Oh, back to Gretch. Okay. Vulcan still in the match. We may lose him. He has enough time. He has time until I get my IS4 for my crew. Trying to make a thumbnail for the stream for the artillery thing. Where did Dookie go? Nowhere. Nowhere? I was wondering what tank you're gonna pick. <sighs> what? Are, so we're talking about like heavy tech tree. Yes. We got it. We talk about talking tech tree. Um, here, uh -huh. let me eliminate. Please. Oh, and here. Uh, I. Okay. Hmm. Well, yes. E five though. You're going to E five. I don't know. That's going to be a big crowd pleaser. Well, that was one of the tanks I recommended. Yeah. But I want to use something different. Can I just use what I want to use? Sure. Instead? That's fine. Okay, quick. I was just playing the eyes for it. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I want. Um, and let me just make sure everything's set up right. If my platoon's up, you can join. I think Which so. it is. But I'm just going to play this one game in the... IS4, then I'm going to jump to custom games and start the artillery custom game because that's going to be fun. Right now, I'm just making a thumbnail because I got to make the stream more clickable so we get more people. Ooh. Because Yes. Opinion on the 430U. Um, 430U, it's like a heavy, um, heavy medium. Basically, it's a medium that acts like a heavy tank. It actually has the IS-4 gun, which is a pretty good gun. The armor is really good for a medium. It has no, it has no gun depression. The accuracy does suck, but it's all about the armor. If you want a medium that acts like a heavy, then the Object 430U is your tank. Crap! Spread the what word. Yes, word guys. My tank's making. The cookie sound? 
It was going. I didn't know I could do that. Weird. It sounded like a car alarm or something almost. Very strange. Okay. I've learned knowledge. What? Hold up. I have returned again. Okay, thing to make the eyes for look amazing. Hello, Bohart Patel. I think I said your name right. If I didn't, correct me. Hello, Batchat. Boo, 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 Basically, IS-4. Really good at sight scraping. Oh, actually. The T-92. And has a really good gun. How am I? Uh, pretty good. About to have a custom games for Tilly. Actually, this hat is annoying me. I can't. I can't shoot down that, that big, that long corridor anymore, there's uh, an FE-205B here in the building that's going to pop out soon. Uh-huh. Got to get ready for him. Do I stream on Twitch too? Yes, I do. Monday, Tuesday, Friday. And also, if he does here, also this too. There's Hudson in front of me. Hello, Ernesto. Oh, that's a lot of things. Oh, I just want to work your magic. Mm. I knew that would a little. Oh, we need lots of magic right now, buddy. We need oh. all the magic you can muster. I'm already dead. And that's so you're just in time for our artillery hustle game. Artillery only. That uh, E50M just rammed you. Oh, back to the Gretsch. <sighs> so I'm currently like setting up my OBS to stream on Twitch. I've got the video quality turned up to 10,000 kilobytes a second. I'm, I'm, I think. I mean I'm, YouTube. Based on my test, my yeah to to YouTube. I'm sorry, yeah YouTube. Um, any uh. Is there anything else I need to know? I mean, I've, I've done it directly from the PlayStation before, but I'm doing it with OBS. I don't know if you've ever done that. I know you messed around with your capture. I device. have streamed through OBS before. Uh -huh. Through YouTube. You I don't think mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's all hooked up and, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, we're going to do Himmelstorf because that would be like funny. So, put, uh, the thing is open. We're gonna ban all of these things. And it's just our killing. Why did this change? And, uh, wait, I should make it an encounter. Alright, so, oh, can join. Did I make it World War II? Yes, I did. Okay, you can join while I set up the strange stuff and things like that. I can let my title. Why does none of these settings save?
save. There. Okay. I have to ask you something about your PC computer. We'll ask at the end. If you're asking how I stream, I don't... If you're asking because you want to know how I stream, I actually don't stream through my PC. I stream through my PS5. So I'm going to give time for people to jump in. I know Hudson will jump in. I know Vul Vulcan will jump in because he had to switch accounts. Let me kill a cat. Do 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 do. So you just finished the game? Yeah, I know. That match just ended. I seen you in your mouse. Somehow you bounced my shell from the side of your armor. That's probably just mouse. Okay, I'm surprised you didn't actually just didn't play the mouse that game. You played the Type Five instead. Well, yeah, because of the new system, and you know, I just I haven't really played the Type Five very much, so I'm wanting to. Drink. Oh. I played the mouse a bunch, so I'm I'm trying to. Lately, I've been trying to play tanks that I have played less. So. So, give me a second, guys. As soon as I get done with all this, I'll start a match. Boop, 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 boop. Right. Had to play some meme thing. Play Mean Tank. That makes more sense. Export. I'm going to mute myself for a second. So, you know, I have yet to figure out what artillery I'm going to use. Tuki, are you taking my idea? Mm hmm. You are. It was a good well, idea, I'm wasn't it? I'm using it. I'm not taking it, I'm using it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to ping two discords. So and I noticed the premium shells on this are, are well balanced too. You do less, uh, bigger splash radius, but less damage. Pretty cool. Just imagine if they did that with all premium shells. Mm hmm Okay. I am almost done. So give me a second. I'm going to pink two. Why did that pop up? I didn't tell you to pop up. How do I get you your way? I don't know. I'm pinging too. Also, I have a cat. And all stream, and all stream long, it's been getting into stuff. And every time I get up, mm -hmm. it's like, nope. Runs away. 
I'm like, really? Why are you? Why do you annoy me like this? Okay. I'm going with my equalizer too. I'm going to use the barrage gun. Everything is just going bad because part of my chair just broke off. Okay. I wanted to use my barrage gun because I thought that would be fantastic. Do you want me to funny. take something else? No. Okay. I mean, it's, it's artillery versus artillery. Shotgun match. You don't have to shotgun, you can fight like regular artillery. That's insane, Tiki, we could do this. So what do you think of the Cobra? Only problem I find is tend to get so many tier tents. Match up. Hello, Cap Tesla. So the Cobra, um, the hash rounds are really good, so that should help you fight tier 10. Because you don't actually have to penetrate the shells. All you have to do is splash them. Uh, what else? Your standard penetration is really good at 268, but that heat rounds is kind of annoying because it's heat, not like AP or APCR, so it is absorbed and tracked in space over. Yeah, Cobra, overall the Cobra is a really nice tank. If you can pin all four hash rounds, that's just like, that's really good. So do you set your streams for normal latency or low latency? Do you set it for low? Um, you I just stream. If I'm three streaming through the PS5, PS um, PlayStation just does its own thing. Hmm. Yeah, but you can go in and set it on the YouTube side of things. Can I? For the control panel, yeah. I'm gonna set I can't. Low. I can't. Okay. I don't have the option. Well, I have the option. Right now it's on normal latency, but I well, can't once change it's going. it. Yeah, you can't do it when it started. Yeah, I can't can do it. I can't do it before because okay. the live stream gets well, made should... when the PS5 goes live. And if I start one, it'll just create a brand new one. It's kind of very right, annoying. I think on YouTube you can set it to... Try it next time. Try setting it in the control panel first in YouTube and then maybe it might... I can't. It to low. I already tried. Uh, okay. It's because I'm streaming through PS5. And it right. creates its own thing. Yeah, I got you. I smell what you're stepping in. Oi! Burn it! Burn it! That's it. Good job. Dicky, what were you shooting at? Been I kinda don't wanna be all one before in my equalizer. I think that'd be fun. Oh, actually, Hudson may do a one v four. Hudson may fuck up for you, Dicky. Yeah, good. Push me. Never mind. <laughs> I did fifty nine damage. Could just run around with Bert. Alright, I kinda wanna do a 1v4. Oh, 
Oh, Shadow Hunter is Vulcan. I need for life. Hello, Ghetto. Should you be Mouse? Um, no. Right now we're just doing artillery things. Are you trying to be a mouse so you could absolutely win because you're that scared of losing from a 1v4? Now it's a 2v4 because I have somebody join my team. I think I'll pick artillery. Do they realize you can only pick artillery? I'll try it again. What were you doing up there? Trying to blind fire us? Or are you just Something shitting? Like that. A little bit of both. A little bit of both? I'm doing stuff over here. Oh, you're trying to set up your stream while doing this too? Maybe. <laughs> I was doing stuff on my computer. <laughs> Ooh, we have Captain Tesla. I'm downloading pictures of the Type 63 HG, okay? Fine. Alright. Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Adding to your collection. You happy now? And it's a 3v4 now. Super delayed stream. I don't know how delayed. Oh, on my end, it looks like it's six or seven seconds. If it's super delayed for you, you should refresh. Fall back for an RD for this. What artillery did you buy back? Oh, the S51. I want a 15 versus 15 artillery. That's a match. That's what I really want. I think for that to happen, I think I really have to like promote it before I do it. All we gotta do is capture the location marked on the map. Roll out. Oh, fine. I think it's like fine. I'll, I'll, I'll go play artillery now instead of worrying about my Type 63. Photos. You're building up a collection. Hey, they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty racy. NSFW. <laughs> Thanks, big I've been spotted. Who is over here? Oh, it's Moe. I've been surrounded. Uh oh, 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 I spiced the wood, he missed. <laughs> no. I died. <laughs> Got him on the third shot. We should do Ghost Town. Like, what map should we do? Any suggestion what maps? I don't know, a big open map. A big open map? Yeah. What kind of map? Ooh. That was heat. Um, port? Is it port? We're doing port. And I'm taking Bert. 
province. I wish we could do province. Province would be fun. We need province back. El Holif. Let's do port, then we'll do El Holif. Okay, we're gonna give people 20 more seconds. I know everybody's selected artillery already. Why is y'all have all the premium artillery? We have just have tech trees. Pay to win. <laughs> all right, let's go. I gave it like 30 seconds for more people to join. Super Bert will smash up Bert. No, don't hate on the Bert. I do kind of want to do that one versus how many artillery she'll have. One versus six. I can only do it on El Holu. We have to take and hold the marks objective. Yeah. Get to it. Be great. Locked and loaded. Zoom. Zoom zoom. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I see one. Oi. They spotted us. Oi. Fire. Track hit. Oi. Hate to win this. No. Are you still in shot? Loaded and ready. You know, I could have waited and fired when I was closer. We've been detected. Hurt. Hudson got you. Got. <sighs> Hudson has avenged you in their equalizer. Oh, nice. Great shot, whoever killed me. I think it was Cap Tesla. Yeah, it was Cap Tesla. Still looking for your tight 63 pitchers? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, if I had just waited and not fired from such an extreme distance. I just thought it would have been funny if I had hit again on the four shot at full speed you, just like I did the other tank at the previous round. I had to round. dodge two of those. Final shot. What's that? I had to dodge two of those. Yeah. So anyway, it just, you know, went for it. But if I had just waited to get a little closer, like, I think it probably would have got spotted. I want to do this 1v6. I think it'll be fine. Oh. Oh.
Ooh. A direct artillery shot. It survived. No. All right, I'm doing a whole life, and I'm doing one versus seven. Cause I think it'd be fun. One versus six. Section OP, please nerf. <laughs> the American one is OP. If any tank is in and the game is OP, the American six and one is. Yeah, and I think. Uh... I'm going to switch to something that doesn't have such a horrendous reload. So, I'm doing... Put them all the way all over there until... So, technically, it's going to be a 2v6. Okay, never mind. 1v6. <laughs> they said no. You want two left face? So, what you picking? You okay? I don't know. Oh, I know what I want to pick, dude. Can I, can I, is it okay if I buy something, uh, real quick? Pick it fast. I gotta buy something. Pick it fast. Okay. It's a coming. It's a coming. Here comes the tank. Okay. What are you buying? Or is it a surprise? Let's let it be a surprise. Uh, you know, I don't have time, I'm not going to put all the trimmings in, but I'm going to put some stuff. And I guess we need to do, hold on a second. There's a gun upgrade, I guess. Engine upgrade. Do you really think you you're can gonna, You're gonna love this, dude. You're gonna you're gonna absolutely love this. What? I just wanna say. Oh, there's AP two what in the heck? I should do this more? Yeah, it's fun. Okay. And after you pick your until I'll give thirty seconds for some for somebody else to join. Okay. Gotta grab a kick ass commander. You're gonna love this, dude. Am I? I don't know. Boom. Birch gun. I knew you were on bigot. <laughs> This thing could, could run the show, man. You could wreck it with the Birchie, man. The Birchie can get it. Oh, we have another person. I was about to go. You're gonna, excuse me, you're gonna kill me by ramming? What are you in? You're the, you're in Super Bird. <laughs> I have a T92 on my team. Whoever. Prince is probably being like, why are we in 2v6? Because you joined the team 
Get on to the 1v6. I heard artillery fight. Oh my god! <laughs> my T ninety two strike. Wow. Really? With the first shot? Were you spotted? Or was that just a blind fire? That was a blind fire. I wasn't even spotted. My sixth sense didn't go off. Oh, I wish I could play Bert when Bert had its generational sights. That'd been great. Play Bert with the original sights. Oh no! Mouse. Ba ba da ba da ba da. Hey, come at Mouse, you're playing like a regular artillery. I'm in a 1v3. I think that middle. She's Help! Hmm. Why does the left guy have so much free range? I should use the little gun. It isn't too as much damage, but it fires a lot faster. I wasn't fighting. I lived. What went six already or a vanguard? I'm guessing a vanguard. Um, it depends. If the vanguard just charges in, then the artillery would win. If the vanguard uses its stealth, then the vanguard would win. I feel like you were watching my stream there, so... No. I missed! <laughs> no, I died. Finally.
I find her to like. Okay. I'm going to put it as a random map or encounter. And I am going to randomize the team. And we're going to see what kind of map we get. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Actually, I'm going to put the timer down to a set, seven minute timer. Okay? Yeah. 30. Just in case we get one of the big maps. Like, oh, we got Pilsen. Dookie, we're finally on a team together. <laughs> Yay! Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. I have a minute reload. Should load premium high explosive. 15 15 has to be chaotic. I know, right? It'd be great. 15 versus 15 artillery on Helmstorf. Helmstorf. Load you minute reload. Load. Oh. I got a ram kill. I may have rams killed the last artillery. Dude, are you still alive? You are. I'm still alive. See ya, Hudson. I got a ram kill. I got two ram kills that game. I can't believe I just clipped. I want to play a tier two or two. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to play Burt with the small gun. Because why? <laughs> why would you not? Alright, I'm going to see if Ricky will join. Maybe.
pissed off with the birch gun or you have to buy your stack. Alright. Let's go. Ah! No button. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is what you get with for randoms. This is called random matchmaking. And it's a 3v3. Oh no. We have to take and hold the marks of oh, let's... get to it. Yeah. Okay. One mouse versus eight sexes. I've requested a bath. No, I'm out of signal range. No. Oh no. I got shotguns. Dude, he went solid. I'm here. Oh. Are you just shooting? Boo. <laughs> I put the burst gun on the FE 304. They were right here. Oh, in front of you. Ah! Oof. Oof. They're surrounding y'all. And then. Cap also got Moe's. Oh, good. Ow, he's out traversing my gun. No. Oh, oh, it's a 1v1. She put the M44. Oh, oh, who's gonna reload? Nice. Just going for dinner, great fun. It's been fun. Thanks for joining, Scooby. All right. We need more people taking. More peeps. Any more peeps? You know what I want? Abby. You stayed in third person? Hacks.
do 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 do. The bar was great training for this. I expect so. Bar has no gun depression. You're very tall. Yeah, artillery majority of artillery has absolutely no gun depression. So, hey, that works. So, what you getting this time, Jakey? I don't know. I w I'll give it another try. I mean, it's it's not doing well, but I want to try it again. It sucks, but it's my kind of suck. Your kind of suck. Mm -hmm. And I drove past as the distraction worked until a point. I have Bert with the burst gun. Bert versus Super Bert, M41 versus burst gun. Oh wait, it's basically <laughs> I'm driving the FE4, FE304 with the burst gun, so basically it's like your entire team combined into one tank equals me. That's funny. What's the capture from there? Boop ba doop ba doop ba doo. down the middle. We've been detected. Come back here, Vulcan. Come back. Did I hear a shell? No. Did I hear a shell, Tiki? No. I'm just going to continue firing in this direction. And if you happen to run into one of my shells, it's your own fault. But what direction is that? I don't know. You don't know. I wouldn't know. You could probably go to my YouTube channel and stream snipe. You could do the same for if me. Everything's working properly. I'm not looking at your stream, but I'm saying I just started this my stream on YouTube. Ah. Let's see. Just to see if it works. And I wanted to test it out at the end. So. Figured in perfect time, because if something broke, I could be like, slap, help, fix it. Help. I know you stream through YouTube quite a bit. Where are the cowards? Where's my Here swimming are. lessons? Uh-oh. All the way over there? Already? Oh, that was so close.
<laughs> Who's dodging those shells? Oh, Dookie! What you doing? Enemy oh, I no, got you, particles! <laughs> nice shot, man. Nice shot. Thanks. Yeah, the birch gun, like, it's so situational. Like, you want to just love it, but it's just, it's not quite as great as it could or should be. But, um, I don't even, dude. I don't have a gun laying drive on this. I don't even have a rammer on it, so you know, nice it could be so much better, right? You know what I mean? With a gun laying drive, it could be so much better. Insanely better. I would love to put a, a rammer on a gun line drive on this. It'd be amazing. All right. Conquer gun carriage and two SVT1s? I meant to put this on mines. I can't one shot any of those. Yeah, one shot this, buddy. Like, I can't one shot any of those. I just gotta do magical skills. You know, if y'all form a triangle, I would never be able to kill you. Do 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 do. Yeah, the birch gun really needs a traction system and then a rammer and gun line driving would be super nice. Does it? Oh yeah. That'd be really nice. Where are you? Where are you? Five minutes. Uh. 
Um, give me like a half a second. Why send me, send somebody a message. Gotta find the message group. Do to do. Look out! Enemy spotted. Ah! You didn't see me here. I didn't see me here. Leave me alone. And ready. Chalk up another one. Ah. Can't hit anything from here. Wait. They spotted us. Wait. <laughs> you know what'd be funny? If I just get under your gun and just gotta sit there. Hi. Hi Vin. I thought I'd be able to get my arc my shells over the over the hill from where I was at, but I couldn't get a single shot, and I was so frustrated. Do do. Yes, these are APCR rounds. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn it. Who put that rock there? Nice. Who I put won that rock there. I, I want to know. I'm going to submit a ticket. Hold on a second. I won. Let me go submit a ticket. And superior right now. gun. I'm sub and superior gun. Voila! Please remove all rocks. I want everything to be all smooth everywhere. Smooth. Do do. So, and so if you're going to do this more often, I might spec some of my already out for this. Just. Stock up on silver. Boop a doop a doop. Boop a doop. Silver schmilver. 
Silver Smilver. Alright, I may do a couple more games of this. Alright. Yeah, I need to like organize this better. So we have more people to make. Did you know they put Ghost Town and Mines back into Tier 8? Oh wow, that's cool. They extended the tiers that Mines and Ghost Towns can play at. Do, do, do. Those Let's get paid. Hadn't seen them yet. They're there. Yeah, I hadn't seen them either. Which I haven't been playing that much. World War II. It got added... Um... This Tuesday. Do you want to do a 1v3? What do you mean? Do you want to be the person by itself? No. No? Oh. Yeah. Why? I'll, pick I a don't tier. I'll pick a tier 2 artillery. Got an enemy here. <laughs> Good job. Enemy us. I jumped like. I'll have a crack to get to you. Yeah. <laughs> I just got shotgun. <laughs> Pep out of stuff. Pep out of your stuff. This is a good shot. It was nice. It was, it was uh, fun to watch. Everything except the spoiled and bark. I was a fan of. No. Aww. Oh, I can't believe those two shot me. I live. And I took fall damage too. That was great. <laughs> Fade and switch. Okay. Mm, last game? Yeah. No. Why? Get the blame. Many more. Many, many, many more. The Saxon lays undefeated. Alright, last one. So, the next time I do one of these events, I'll try to promote it as much as I possibly can. It'll be like 15 versus 15 artillery match. This day. On this time, voila. Entire stream. I'll try to get other content creators into it too. I will try. I did like that jump though. <laughs> I can't believe I actually hit you and survived. It was meant to be. For the memes. Boo ba do ba do ba do. Ah! One of these days. One of these days? Let's do it again. Do the exact same thing. I'll go the same way. 
<laughs> you gonna be ready this time? I was ready before. I mean, I'm just driving the darn thing backwards, though. That's the only problem. You weren't ready. Ooh. Got him. <laughs> has been defeated. Oh, boss. Four CC versus fifteen players, or four uh, four content creators versus fifteen players. It's granted fun time. Yeah, this is very fun. Okay, that would be your choice. Would you be on the four content creator side, or would you be on the 15 player side? I don't know. Um, you know me, I, I like to root for the underdog, so I might want to be on the 15 player side. But. <laughs> You're like, how are I there? I, will, I like rooting for the underdog. I thought I would be on the 15 player side. Also, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm streaming to YouTube and nothing's exploded yet. My computer hasn't exploded. Oh, let me see if I have any dropped frames. No, zero dropped frames. I have 10,000 kilobytes a second. Oh, that was kind of cool. I skidded along the railing. Sideways. Oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> and I'm alright. Now what were you saying, Turkey? Oh, I was just saying that um, I'm I'm streaming to YouTube now at a steady 10,000 kilobytes a second and, and zero drop frames. So nice. Uh, my internet can handle really good. Nice. 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 Yeah, now I can't wait to go back and like play one of these and then play a Twitch stream and, and look side by side and see the comparison. It's uh, four thousand kilobytes a second better, so it's gonna it's gonna look better. Gotta look better. Dude, what the heck are you? I've circled this map. You see me, but I can't see you. What the heck? Go for it, punk. Make my day. Make your day? Just go for it, punk. But I don't want a side scrape. I do. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were going to be watching that side. Because uh, you know why we go that way. One more. One more. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
from rigged. Rigged, yeah. Rigged. <laughs> oh, I'm very scared, aren't you? So I'm <laughs> It's called knowledge. It's great. <laughs> no fair. Fine, fine. Fine. We'll do one more. I'll fit bird it again. Actually, if you're going to have Moe's, I'll pick a different one. I mean, you did hit me for like 20 damage or something. I didn't have anything on my commander, man. Look, Zero. If I had had some commander stuff... Oh, my commander's ninth yeah. skill. <laughs> I know. See, I, I wasn't taking time to put all the commander-y things. And, you know, that's, that, that was the thing with the birch gun, too. No gun lane drive, no ram, or all that stuff. So, it's like like one of your other viewers said, if you're going to do this on a regular, maybe they'll go back and kit out some of their arties. And me, too. I'd, I'd like to kit out with something like the birch gun and maybe see what we could do with it. May, may be able to really do some fun stuff. All right. You need to really baby the guns. So. Last one. Easy money. I kept saying. Commander says, like, this is easy money. Uh, fantastic. So yeah, next time I gotta promote the event. As much as possible. Dude. I wasn't loaded! Get him! <laughs> No, why did he go around the corner? <laughs> now it's your time to strike. Oh, he's loaded now. You're in trouble. I miss Rattle Flea. Uh, just imagine if you all the way are birds. Thanks. Oh, this artillery is fantastic. I love it so much. I was reading something and I got hit in the ammo. Oh, yeah. Blame chat. I got hit in the ammo. Classic move. Blame your chat. Great shot. Thanks. It's all chat fault. Oh, what the heck is that? No! <laughs> 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 mm. 
It's okay. I got ever wrecked again. My money's on a sexton one. I don't know if you led to the highest. Okay, proof. If you led to the highest we explosive. Proof right here. Loaded the high explosive round, it would have killed me, but that AP round damaged my Amorak again! <laughs> because my friend stuck. Ooh, nasty AP. AP. Shooting AP, that's, uh, that's good thinking. Uh, what is my reload? Ready to fire. It's not 30 seconds. I know it's not 30. It's gonna be like a minute. Next in one OP. Just imagine a whole bunch of Burt's running around. You're like, oh crap. Burt's versus Super Burt's. Again! No! <laughs> Aww. I went to do it. Dicky, I tried to kill uh, Vulcan the same way I killed you. And how'd that work out for you? <laughs> I died. Well, guys, it's been fun. <laughs> sex or intention. Guys, it's been fun. It's been really, really fun. I didn't mean to quit all the way out. Oh well. Also, you can raid on Twitch. I mean, YouTube. Did you know that? You can raid on YouTube? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, uh, you can't... But it's a lot uh, different. Uh, where you have to verify it. The people have to That'll accept you before you raid. I don't really know. Hold up. Hmm. Give me a half a second. Oh, guys, it's been fun. Next time I'll try to get as many people in here as possible. First ring. Alright, guys. Um... See you later. Or suck fish because of all we shot. And yeah, next time, promote it as much as I can. And I'll see you later.